it's in the centre like it looks darker than black. Yeah. That's the term midnight blue. Brilliant. And that's what two gentlemen's dinner suits should always be midnight blue as well. And that's the idea of that because that looks darker than black in a certain light. It certainly was a way of expressing creativity, but I think what I realised at a very young age was the power of dress and the significance of dress and what you could do with do with it, you know? Whether it be going to the fun fair and being a cool guy walking around at the fair, fair dressed up with all the other kids, or going to football, you know, to go to West Ham, and then of course by the time I was a teenager going to all the cool nightclubs that were in and around the West End and around you know, the East End of London back in the 70s. I saw the power of dress as a really big thing, and then as I expressed with my tailoring, um, it, it became a big part of what I did. But then I realised with tailoring, I could do anything I wanted to do within the realms of my style, which gave me a lot more freedom. And what I'm trying to say with my clothes is that they look very, very powerful. They are obviously expressing a very strong style and identity, and they also give people a second a level of edge to what they are as a person with the way they dressed. Obviously a lot of my creative inspirations have come from nostalgia, but I think the other key with what I do so that it doesn't look like costume, it still looks very contemporary and current. Um, you know, in the sense of I do I know how to update style so it doesn't just look like you've walked off the set of a TV show. I mean a lot of these kids that do vintage and retro now they look like walked off the set of Dad's Army, which for me ain't that cool really. I think you've got to look you've still got to look very current and very contemporary. But equally, a lot of my styling does come from the 20s, the 30s, obviously the 40s and 50s. And of course, the other thing is, because we are sort of geezery type blokes, and of course it often gets packaged into that gangster thing. But I do think there's a lot more than that with the style that we have. I think it's got a far more sophisticated look than just a gangster look.